Good morning, brothers and sisters, and happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thursday, November 25th. So friends, we begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger. They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. O God of light, the dawning day gives us new promise of your love. Each fresh beginning is your gift, like gentle dew from heaven above. Your blessings, Father, never fail. Your Son, who is our daily bread, the Holy Spirit of your love, by whom each day your sons are led. Make us the servants of your peace. Renew our strength, remove all fear. Be with us, Lord, throughout this day. For all is joy if you are near. To Father, Son, and Spirit blessed, one only God we humbly pray. Show us the splendor of your light in death, the dawn of perfect day. Amen. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore you. Excuse me. God of hosts, turn again, we implore you. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, eternal shepherd, you so tend the vineyard you planted, that now it extends its branches even to the farthest coast. Look down on your church and come to help us. Help us remain in your Son as branches on the vine, that planted firmly in your love, we may testify before the whole world to your great power, working everywhere. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart, to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, open our mouths to proclaim your glory, and help us to leave sin behind and to rejoice in professing your name. Ring out your joy to God our strength. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of justice, peace, and the joy that is given by the Holy Spirit. Whoever serves Christ in this way pleases God and wins the esteem of men. Let us then make it our aim to work for peace and to strengthen one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Always you are there to help me. I think of you, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the early hours of the morning, I think of you, O Lord. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be God, our Father, who protects his children and never spurns their prayers. Let us humbly implore him, enlighten us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for enlightening us through your Son. Fill us with his light throughout the day. Enlighten us, Lord. Let your wisdom lead us today, Lord, that we may walk in the newness of life. Enlighten us, Lord. May we bear hardships with courage for your namesake and be generous in serving you. Enlighten us, Lord. Direct our thoughts, feelings, and actions this day. Help us to follow your providential guidance. Enlighten us, Lord. And on this uh, day of thanksgiving, let us call to mind the things that we are truly thankful for and be reminded of whom we are thankful. And so thanking God for the many gifts, the many blessings, we lift up our voices now using those sacred words that Jesus himself taught and gave to us. And so together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, true light and source of all light, listen to our morning prayer. Turn our thoughts to what is holy, and may we ever live in the light of your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to pray together. How good it is to give thanks to the Lord with all of our hearts, especially on this day. Friends, I hope you're able to, to spend a little, a little time with family, um, maybe catch a football game. But whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out holiness today in our lives as we give thanks to the Lord for his blessings. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.